welcome to today's session uh, on two different topics in the forthcoming slides we will be looking into two different uh, topics uh, one we will be discussing about uh, uh, different types of e vehicle topologies and the other one we will be discussing about the overview of uh, different types of battery systems and which uh, battery is more suitable for uh, e vehicle applications so this is the agenda of today's uh, topic so to introduce uh, in this slide first i will just introduce uh, different e vehicle topologies are uh, there are four different types one is uh, series ev series hev parallel hev series parallel hev and uh, here uh, you can see that uh, there are two different terminologies ev hev ev is nothing but electric vehicle hev is nothing but hybrid electric vehicle so from the name itself we can understand that uh, electric vehicle will be run only through battery it will be having only the battery battery will be connected to the uh, to the motor uh, through inverter and the motor will be connected to the transmission uh, system and uh, that will be driving the vehicle whereas hev is nothing but hybrid so what do you mean by hybrid so hybrid is nothing but mixing of two different uh, topologies so it will be having uh, both uh, battery as well as engine and based on our requirement we will be using it in either uh, series or parallel configuration uh, for example in series hev uh, both battery and engine are connected in uh, series configuration whereas in case of parallel hev both uh, battery as well as uh, engine will be connected in parallel whereas in case of series parallel configuration Uh, you will be having two different uh, machines one will be acting as motor the other will be acting as generator motor will be connected in uh, parallel with the engine whereas generator will be connected in series so that's why it is called a series parallel hev and uh, in the slides you can note that before hev you are having p in brackets it is nothing but uh, plug in hev so instead of hev it is uh, it will be a plug in hev where you can uh, charge the battery using the plug point any number of times so uh, the, uh, the battery whenever the battery is found uh, discharged uh, you can charge it uh, by connecting the vehicle to the plug point so that's why it is called as phev so if the plug point is not available uh, then it is called as just hev but uh, in today's uh, technology all the vehicles are, are of uh, phev so that's why i have named it as uh, phev and p in brackets just to make you understand what is the difference between p hev hev and ev and uh, after discussing all these uh, topics we will be moving into the overview of uh, different types of battery systems uh, which are available today and which uh, battery is more suitable for uh, e vehicle applications is what the discussion as we all know already some basics of battery system there are two uh, different types one is uh, the primary battery system the other one is the secondary battery system so primary battery system and secondary battery system uh, the difference is uh, in case of primary battery system uh the battery is uh, can be used only one time and uh, it is a use and throw once uh, the battery is complete is discharged it it, it will be it, it cannot be used further whereas in case of uh, secondary battery systems the battery can be recharged where the battery can be recharged and it can be used uh, n number of times according to our uh, design and according to the type of battery the number of uh, recycling uh, numbers can be uh, is variable so all those things we'll be discussing in the forthcoming slides so let's go into the topics one by one welcome to today's discussion on different types of electric vehicle power train types the electric vehicle uh, power train that is ev power train is classified into four different types the first one is uh, series ev the second one is uh, series hev third one is parallel hev and the last one is series parallel hev now we will see one by one in detail each and every type is having its own advantage and disadvantage and based on our requirement we have to choose 
the particular uh, type which is suitable for our application. So let us go into the first type that is series EV. So this is the circuit for series EV and this is the second one is a circuit for parallel sorry series HEV and the third one is a circuit for parallel HEV. The last one is a circuit for series parallel HEV. So now let us discuss about series EV. So series EV from this uh, circuit you can understand that it is having uh, the components like battery, inverter, motor bar generator. So the same machine will be acting as motor as well as generator. It is having it will be having a transmission system and the power uh, will be transmitted to the wheels from the motor through this transmission system. So this is uh, how the power flows. That is uh, the stored energy in the battery will be uh, delivered to the inverter. The function of inverter is to convert the DC to AC. So normally we will be using uh, uh, AC motor because uh, DC motor will be having the commutator and due to the presence of commutator sparking will be there. So in order to avoid that we will be using AC motor and uh, the AC motor will be coupled to the transmission system and the transmission system will be an interface which will be transmitting the energy from the motor to the wheels through the transmission. And uh, the example for this type of series uh, EV, first first it was uh, introduced by Nissan Leaf. And uh, the main advantage of this is uh, it is very simple and uh, there is no complex IQ. The torque is directly transferred from the battery to the wheels uh, through the motor and transmission system. So the main drawback of this particular system is uh, it cannot run, it, it, it cannot uh, run with high acceleration. That is, uh, that it, uh, it is not possible to go with uh, uh, very high uh, speeds due to the acceleration will be very very less because the battery will not be able to uh, produce that much power or else the battery capacity and battery size should be very very high and uh, battery is having its own limitations uh, of giving uh, good acceleration and because of which uh, it is limited to low speed applications, uh, series EVs are limited. The second, now, now let us look into the second type, that is the series HEV. So from the first one and second one, you can see the small difference is there. In this case, uh, the inverter is supplied from both battery as well as the engine. And uh, the inverter again, it will be supplying to the motor. So now the main advantage is the torque is given from the engine. So the torque is shared by engine. So in, uh, only uh, earlier it was shared only by the battery. Now the torque is shared by the engine. Uh, as well as uh, the battery. So because of which uh, the torque will be smooth and the acceleration will be better when compared to the previous case. But uh, since it is given in the, uh, since the torque uh, is not given directly to the transmission system, it will be of less uh, uh, control. The torque uh, cannot be controlled much easy. So that is the main drawback. And uh, in order to overcome all these things, we are going with the parallel HEV. So in case of parallel HEV, again, you can see that the engine is connected directly to the transmission system. So the torque uh, is better. Uh, so uh, so you, you may ask a question that why uh, uh, the engine can be directly connected to the transmission? What is the use of the series? So the series uh, HEV is having the advantage that it is, it, it is quite capable of uh, handling large fluctuations. That is in case of city traffic, uh, the braking, will be uh, that is the uh, acceleration and deceleration will be fluctuating. So in those cases series HEV is having a good advantage when compared to the parallel HEV. Whereas parallel HEV is having the advantage of uh, producing high acceleration and high torque and it is suitable for traveling in highways. So in order to have uh, the advantage of both the types, so here we are going the last type which is called a series parallel type. So here you can see that uh, uh, that is uh, motor is divided into two. So here uh, the generator is supplying to the inverter and uh, battery. So here you can see that uh, uh, this type of uh, series parallel HEV is having the advantage of uh, uh, producing uh, high torque in uh, national highways as well as it can be it can withstand 
high fluctuating uh, acceleration and decelerations. So this uh, is very good uh, when compared to all the three types, but the problem is it is uh, highly uh, complex in circuit and uh, it is quite uh, costly also when compared to all these three types. So whenever you need uh, uh, to, uh, for ha high acceleration, high deceleration with uh, high uh, torque in NH, then we have to go with a series parallel HEV. So, uh, I am really very thankful for your patient listening and uh, the, uh, uh, now you will let us conclude the session. Thank you all once again. Thank you. Thank you.